This tutorial is about how to download data from the American Community Survey. The American Community Survey, or ACS, is a supplement to the decennial census. While the census data is collected once every 10 years, the ACS is collected annually and provides much more up-to-date information about communities. So the way that we access the ACS, we can go to the census.gov website and go to Data, Tools Developers, Data Tools and Apps, and then American Fact Finder. American Fact Finder is in fact the tool that we'll use to get at the ECS data. And there are a lot of different ways to get the information from the American Fact Finder, but the one that we'll use today is called the Download Center. So on the upper menu, click on Download Center. We'll be presented with a series of steps where we make choices in order to get at our data. The first one is whether or not we know the data set or table we want or whether we want prepackaged data. So in this case, we want, we don't, well, we don't know the data set or table we want, but we'll be able to search for it. So this is the option we want. Prepackaged data is actually summarized data in other forms that we won't be needing. We'll click Next. Then we'll be asked to select a program. So again, we're using the American Community Survey. You'll see there's lots of other programs available from the census, but ACS is what we're after today. And specifically, we want the 2013 ACS five-year estimates. This is the most up-to-date data that's available. So while the ACS data collects data on an annual basis, the uh, data that's available depends upon the geography that you want. So the smaller the geography that you're interested in, the more detailed area information that you want, the larger the time span that you have to choose. Uh, if we wanted data at the level of, a, of the state, for example, we could get one-year estimates. But at the level of a block group, which is what we're going to be after, we have to go with five-year estimates. So we'll choose Add to your selections, and that will be added on the right-hand side under your selections, and click Next. Now we'll select the geography that we want. So there's a lot of options, but you'll notice that some are grayed out. The ones that are grayed out are not available for the data set that we're working with. But Block Group is what we're interested in, and that is not grayed out, so we can choose Block Group. Then we choose the State, Massachusetts. Now I'm going to skip over County and select All Block Groups within Massachusetts. This is actually the reason why we're using the Download Center as the option for choosing for getting at the ACS data, because it's one of the few options that allows us to pick all of the geographies within the state that we're interested in. And the other options that you can get ACS data through American Fact Finder don't, don't allow you to do that. So we'll click Add to your selections, and now we'll see on the right-hand side that it says 2013 ACS five-year estimates and all block groups within Massachusetts. Click Next. Now we can search for the table that we're interested in. So the data from the census is tabulated in a lot of different ways to give you a lot of different kinds of information, and it might be seem a little overwhelming at first. So the best way to kind of understand that is to look at the I button on the right-hand side for a given table that looks like it might be what you want. And when you click on that I button, it'll show you an example of how that table is organized, which is really helpful because you can see if it's tabulated, uh, one, if the information you, you want is there, but also if it's tabulated in the way that you want. So what we're after today in this example is uh, data that will allow us to compute the number of minorities within the state of Massachusetts by block group. So minority is defined as any person who is non-white or Hispanic of any race. Well the best way to do that is to use this table right here called Hispanic or Latino origin by race because the way we're going to compute minority is basically to identify all those people who are uh, not Hispanic white and then subtract them from the general population. If we look at that information for that particular table, we can see how it's tabulated. So what we're interested in here is this call, this row right here, which will be a column in the table we download, white alone, not Hispanic or Latino, and we're going to subtract all the other population from that number in order to, to determine the number of minorities. So what we're going to do is then check off on that row next to the table that we want, and then we click download. And we could have checked off more than one table at a time in order to get uh, multiple tables of information that we need. We do want all the descriptive data element names so that it's easier to navigate the table that we download. Click OK. And the um, ACS will then be, table that we want will be zipped up. And depending on how many tables you choose, it could take longer. Click on the download once it's available. And then you'll be prompted to save the file. All files that you download from the ACS or American Fact Finder will be named the same as a zip file, AFF underscore download dot zip. So if you're downloading multiple files and multiple zip files, you want to create a scheme for identifying which is which so you don't get lost. I'll hit OK to save the file. And I'm going to put it on the desktop 
and I'm going to create uh, a new folder called race and put that information in that folder. Hit save. The file is downloaded. I'm going to go to that downloaded file. And when you're in Windows, Windows allows you to see the contents of any given zipped file and even open it in certain cases. But it's real important to keep in mind that if you're actually going to work on those files, you need to extract them. You can't just work on them because they'll open up. Uh, there's a lot of operations you can't do when they're still in the zipped folder or a zipped file status. So what you want to do is click on extract all files and then extract them to a folder. Now in this case it wants to create a new folder called AFF underscore download mimicking the name of the original zip file in order to store those files and that's fine. So I'll extract it in there. And now if I go back to the upper folder, race folder, you'll see there's a new folder in there called AFF download. And when you look in that folder you'll see there are four files that have been extracted. The one that's most important for us is the one that stops with, uh, that ends with ANN. That's going to contain the data that we want. So if we double click on that, we can open it up. Now technically this is a CSV file or comma separated values file. It's essentially a text file where all the columns are separated by commas. You can open it in fact in a text editor like Notepad and look at it to see how it works. But it's much easier to go straight into Excel uh, to organize the data in a way that's more understandable. So when we look at this table will see that the first few columns have IDs and geographic information about each uh, block group. So each row represents one block group. And then the following columns represent variables of information. Now generally all uh, data that you would download for the ACS uh, will come, well, every variable will have two columns essentially. One column will contain the estimate, the number uh, that we're interested in, and another column right next to it will contain a margin of error an estimate of the error because again these numbers that we're looking at are five-year estimates and they're also collected as samples unlike the, the, the decennial census the ACS data is collected from a small sample of the population not from everybody so there's always since it's a statistical uh, estimate there's always going to be a margin of error and so that's what you always see now the more important thing however is that every column for every variable has these kind of cryptic um, codes indicating what those uh, columns are supposed to be and those aren't intelligible on their own. There's no way that you can possibly know what they mean. But luckily when you get these downloaded zip files for any given table there will also be a metadata CSV and if you open that one it's also a table and this one importantly contains definitions or explanations about what each of those uh, variables uh, codes mean. So this is what you'll use in order to navigate the table that contains the information. So you need both in order to understand that. And you can rename them in the original uh, table, but I would be cautious about that because um, eventually what we're going to do is we're going to be, uh, after we work with these tables, joining them to um, uh, geography layers or, or GIS layers in ArcMap. And ArcMap has real strict rules about how long and how uh, the uh, column names can be formatted. So I wouldn't alter them too much. Just You want to just make sure that you're working with the variables that you want. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So you're ready to work with the with the data that you have here.